border to trample the rule of law in America, flouting political correctness for decades in favor of a gospel of borders, language, and culture. He apparently had one New York billionaire listening. And I'll read more later. It's really good. It's on Newsmax. It's on michaelsavage.com. The WND article is off the charts great by Art Moore. Let's go to the callers right now. KSFO Online, IL Line 2. Go ahead, please. What's your story? I'm your biggest fan in the whole world. I listen to every day uh, in a city about 20 minutes, 20 miles north of Tel Aviv. I start my day. I take my dog to the dog park. I listen to you. And I was the first one, I think, in the whole world to uh, to get your book. I got it on Kindle. I, I just uh, refer to it as a textbook for, for the Savage Nation. That's what I'm going to use it for. I'm just going to listen to it. I'm just going to read it every day. And when I uh, listen to your show, I'm going to read the book with it. This is the show. My parents are American. They made Aliyah, which means they, they were Zionists, and they moved to Israel. And I went to college in Chicago, and I returned. Back. So you, ser you served in the IDF. That's a requirement, correct? Mm-hmm. But I didn't want to stay in America. And I think one of the statements that you made about, that your father told you, I think, when you were in Tel Aviv, and I think uh, you remembered him. Uh, it was 1978, I believe. And he told you, Michael, you're an immigrant son. Why do you want to, uh, why do you want to move to another country? I remember, I remember, oh, that's a great story. Yeah, I remember I was walking the streets of Tel Aviv thinking of moving to Israel. I had two young children, and I heard my father's 